Hello and welcome to Microba Insider. On this channel, I do videos about diseases caused by microorganisms and microbiotics in general. And if you're new to this channel, please do endeavor to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification so whenever I upload a video, you'll be the first to know. So we will be taking a look at the following objectives. What is a vaccine? How does a vaccine work? And the various types of vaccines. A vaccine is a suspension of weakened, killed or fragmented microorganisms or toxins or of antibodies or lymphocytes that is administered primarily to prevent disease. A vaccine works by training the immune system to recognize and combat pathogens. To do this, certain molecules from the pathogen must be introduced into the body to trigger an immune response. These molecules are called antigens and they are present on all viruses and bacteria. By injecting these antigens into the body, the immune system can safely learn to recognize them as hostile invaders, produce antibodies, and remember them for the future. If the bacteria or virus reappears, the immune system will recognize the antigens immediately and attack aggressively well before the pathogen can spread and cause sickness. So the first type of vaccine we are going to be talking about is a life attenuated vaccine, which is a vaccine in which a weaker asymptomatic form of the virus or bacteria is introduced into the body. Because it is weakened, the pathogen will not spread and cause sickness, but the immune system will still learn to recognize its antigens and know to fight in the future. Examples of life attenuated vaccines are the smallpox and yellow fever vaccines. Secondly, we have the inactivated vaccines, in which the specific virus or bacteria is killed with heat or chemicals, and its dead cells are introduced into the body. Even though the pathogen is dead, the immune system can still learn from its antigens how to fight live versions of it in the future. Examples of inactivated vaccines are polio and hepatitis A vaccines. The third type of vaccine is the subunit slash conjugate vaccine, in which specific proteins or carbohydrates are isolated from the pathogen so that when injected into the body, it can train the immune system to react without provoking sickness. Examples of the subunit or conjugate vaccines are the hepatitis B and influenza vaccine. The fourth type of vaccines are the toxoid vaccines, in which toxins of bacteria are deactivated using a mixture of formaldehyde and water. These dead toxins are then safely injected into the body. The immune system learns well enough from the dead toxins to fight off living toxins should they ever make an appearance. An example of a toxoid vaccine is the tetanus vaccine. We also have the viral vector vaccine, which uses a modified version of a different virus as a vector to deliver protection. Several different viruses have been used as vectors including influenza virus. An example of a viral vector vaccine are some COVID-19 vaccines. Other types of vaccines still under study are the DNA vaccine and the recombinant vector vaccine. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification so whenever I upload a video, you get notified instantly.